The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. I'm wondering to what extent you think latent racism explained either political, media, or popular reactions to the president's initiatives and actions, and whether you polled to, to, to get at that. You know, Dave, I wrote in the book that whenever I got the question of race, I deflected it when I was working for the president because I never wanted to create a situation where people could say they're alibying that uh, for their opposition, that they're, they're laying off their opposition on race and not their own actions. But I, I think it's undeniable that race is an element of the opposition to the president. No other president has had someone stand up uh, in the Congress and shout, you lie, as a representative from South Carolina did uh, during one of the president's speeches. No other president has faced persistent questions about his citizenship uh, that even to this day you hear murmurings uh, about. And I think, you know, this is undeniably part of people's reaction to the notion of, a, of, a, of an African-American president and uh, their discomfort with it. Does that represent a majority of Americans? Absolutely not. But are there some Americans who are uncomfortable with the changing demographics of our country, uh, the more diverse country that he represents? I think the answer to that is absolutely yes. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.